<laughs> What's up, guys? I'm here, John. I'm Sharice. And we're here at AMC for movie night. Thursday night's usually our movie night for date night. And you know what? Since we're seeing these movies, we thought we want to give you the tight medical movie review just for you. So this week, we got to see Argyle. Argyle was a, a pretty packed or star-studded packed movie. It had a lot of big actors in it. From Brian Craston, Henry Cavill, Sam Rockwell, Samuel Jackson, Catherine O'Hara, and more. So it had a really good cast. And you know what? The trailer looked pretty good too. It was about this writer and she gets caught up in espionage and the whole nine. So you really didn't know what to expect from this movie. Yeah. All right. I, I had one perception going into this movie and then when the movie started, it started going through and, and, and laying out the story. It was a totally different story than what I thought the movie was going to be about to a certain degree. But it was really good. Like uh, the movie started out, it had a pretty good action scene. Um, on the train and all this stuff with Sam Rockwell and Catherine O'Hara. And then Henry Cavill, you know, he's all through this movie. I don't want to ruin any of the little twists and turns, but there were some really good twists For in this sure. movie. There's definitely some good the, ones. The story was, was written out pretty good. Uh, as far as that goes, it was directed very well. Um, and I think the, the director or producer of this uh, did Kingsman too as well, mm -hmm. which you'll see a twist in that too and a bring in too. It, it's really cool. Stay for the end. Yeah, stay for the end for sure. But you know, it was it, there was a lot of good action. It was a really good storyline. Um, you know, I, w I was intrigued in the whole movie and it wasn't like a real, real short movie either. Um, but it wasn't a really long movie. It was in between that two hours and, and, and two and a half hour movie, right? So, you know, when we watched it, you know, I was, like I said, I was, I was intrigued. I was, you know, right into the movie and in the storyline and Silver Streets, I think to a degree, I don't know. I liked it. You know? I thought it was a good movie. So for me, I'm going to give it uh, 3.5. I'll give it 3.5 as far as stars out of five. I thought it was really good. I think you guys will like the action in it. I think it had a good plot, good twist, and uh, you know some good, good like I said, good actors in it. That always makes the story good if you like the actors in it too as well. So I had to play the characters right. Yeah, I think it was good, especially because there's always action and I like fighting and all that other fun stuff. Um, but yeah, it, it, I think it was it was a really, really good movie. It started off a little, I think a little slower. And then you were kind of like, what's going on? For a minute, I'm like, what's going on in this movie? Like, not, it really didn't make any sense, to be honest with you. So I'm like asking John halfway through the movie, like, I don't understand exactly what's going on. And he looks at me, he's like, he's this and this and this, but it's this. And I'm like, okay, let me stay tuned. Stay tuned. And finally, like, you know, halfway through the movie, I'm like, it makes sense. Of course, this is so great. And then boom, twist in the movie, totally different movie. It was like literally going to see one movie and then seeing a second movie in the same movie. Yeah. I mean, so I would give it a 3.7. She actually did a higher review than me on a movie. I did like this I think movie. this is the first. That was good. This is definitely a tight medical movie review first, okay? <laughs> so make sure you, you, you memorize this and put in the notes. You better go see it. Um, I thought it was good. You know, a little long, and, but it was good. And here's the thing. Make sure you get all your goodies, treats, snacks in the beginning before you go in the yeah, movie. This guy. Go to the bathroom before you go in the movie because what happened was, was Sharice missed out on a really, I think one of the best action scenes in the whole movie. And it really set the tone. I was setting up pizza. It set the tone and it, <laughs> and it explained what was going on. So when she came back, I was like, oh my God, I was like, where were you at? Because like this, this and amazing then I brought scene just this happened. Pizza so that we both <laughs> I ate two little slices of it. Just it doesn't nice. matter. I got the pizza. Uh, okay. <laughs> I agree. Get your snack. Don't miss anything. I don't hate miss, missing any of the movie. I mean, especially a good part. You don't want to miss a good part. Yeah, I agree. You know, if it's a boring part, it's just, uh, whatever. But this was actually a good part. And I'm, I'm sorry she missed it. But she'll see it when it comes on demand. We'll be first to see that, I promise. Yes. And, uh, you know, you can get it back into the story even if you missed a little part of it. But it will definitely help. So. Go out, see Argyle this weekend. There's not a lot of big choices in the movie theaters. Trust me, wah, wah, me, me and Sharice are always looking for good movies to see and we'll see pretty much almost anything. Just a review for you guys and for our entertainment and for our sanity because date night is our getaway, yes. right? So at that point, you guys should go out and see Argyle, make a family trip, make it a couple trip, do it a solo trip if you need to. Everybody will enjoy this movie all the way down to kids, to adults, I promise. And uh, that's it. So go get your tickets for this weekend. AMC, Argyle, you guys will love it. See you then.